and for that I give you all the praise. You should be proud of him because he has grown. He will have a family now of his own. Your son is such a special man. My heart is filled with pride that of them all he's chosen me to be his loving bride. This poem is dedicated to the Shea White, daughter of the groom, and Jordan Wall, son of the groom, from the We are a family now, a whole, which you are a part, and you are, you are a part of my soul. You are just as much my children as your dad's. We will be the best family I ever had. I would not love you differently. I have enough love in my heart to share with you equally. Of all that life has given me, you are the best. You are the ones who have brought me much happiness. There is no limit to my love because you are my angels sent from God above. When you need me, I will be here. I vow to always give you my listening ear. I promise I'll be the best stepmother to you. I even give you good advice if you ask me to. We are now one, just us four, but we can't leave out Christian name, Precious, and myself, so that we will make our family even more. As long as I live, breathe to breathe, you will always have what you need. My children, is my child is in heaven, but not alone. I have relatives there, and they are holding in high on God's throne. He said it wasn't time. I couldn't understand why. But now I have the two of you to help me pass the time. I love you as if you were my own. With you, I will always use my motherly tone. No need to fear what our future holds. I have prayed for us, and God is in control. This poem is in memory of Ursuline Jones, parent, paternal grandmother of Brian, Rosalind K. Wiley, maternal grandmother of Brian, George Reed, father of the groom, Anita Boots Minor, aunt of Brian, Cheryl Mooney Wiley, aunt of Brian. If roses grew in heaven, Lord, please pick a bunch for me. Place them in our loved, arm, loved one's arm and tell them they're from us. Tell them we love them and miss them. And when they turn to smile, place a kiss upon their cheek and hold them for a while. Because remembering them is easy, we do it every day. But there's an ache within our heart because we're missing them today. Although death has separated us physically, faith and love have bound us eternally. Though we cannot see you, we know you are here. Today we pause to reflect upon those who have shaped our character, modeled our spirit, and touched our hearts. We light these candles so that we may bring them here for a while. As we remember their laughter and their smiles, may the lighting of these candles be a reminder of their memories we share.